but sometimes you can find treasure mixed in with things that are damn. I could not believe it when it went to $151. This is gonna be a challenge for me. This is gonna be a lot of work, but it is going to be very educational for all of us. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, this is the dibble you've all been waiting for. This is a dibble box. If you were at the show, oh my goodness, this is going to be a funny box. <clears throat> so there was a box. I was at Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. She was having a selling event and she pulled out these um, dolls and most of them have issues. I'm going to be quite upfront with you guys about that. Okay. But you can see we've got some brats. We've got a bunch of different things in here. There's going to be things in here that I don't even know what they are. If we're being completely honest, there's monster high. This is going to be a challenge for me. This is going to be a lot of work, but it is going to be very educational for all of us. And you guys know I like education. This started at $5. So I bid. I'm like, I'll start it at five. Why not? Right. And then I think I can't remember what I bid it up to. And then I was out because I was like, that's a lot of work. And I don't know. I'm not super educated on these types of dolls. Then there becomes this big bidding war and Noelle farm girl scavenger is bidding and um, she ends up winning it and sending it to me. Now this is what we're all seeing here. Okay. Let me adjust my camera. We're seeing dolls that are just crushed, crushed. So um, this guy, I don't think there's anything I can save on him. I was thinking maybe I could part out one of his body parts. I don't know if these are authentic like go with him or not. Um, I, is he a monster high? Anyway, we're going to look for a treasure. Okay. That's what we're going to do. This one looks pretty good. Look at her little, uh, hair braid at the top here. She's got some staining here, but I don't know what she is. Oh, her belly has this on it. Ooh, does she do something? Let's see. Oh, I think she might talk or something. So I'm going to have to figure out who she is. But she must talk. Huh. Anybody know? So we'll definitely look her up. I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold my little light here. Here is a shirt but it's in pretty poor condition. But I may just do like a, uh, like if I can get the pants off of this, make like a little clothing bundle. I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, so this is Monster High, right? I think. Mattel, I, I think it's Monster High. But you can see she's missing an arm. That does not matter. I have sold dolls missing arms. This foot is chewed up. This leg is fine. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna list these things. So you guys are gonna have to just wait and see. Uh, this is, I don't, oh, her arms move. This is um, a mess, but I may be able to clean some of that up, but you guys know how much I like to clean. This is a 2001 uh, MGA, I think it's a Bratz. When I tell you this lot was a mess. So Noelle paid $151 for this. So I'm wondering what was in there because somebody was bidding against her. I know Noelle bid this high because she wanted to gift it to me, but I'm not sure what the other person was bidding on. Look at this. What does that do? It's too bad that, that it's broken because it must do something. 
I don't know who she is. Here is another, I don't, um, I'm not sure. This is Mattel. So I could sell just the hand if I wanted, technically. I don't know what that one is. Google Lens will be a huge help for these. Here's another Bratz doll. Some of these older dolls can do really well. Uh, this is a 2001. I might be able to get this paint off of her legs. She doesn't have feet, that's okay. I could just sell her head. Here is a head, speaking of. Just a head. All right, this one, wow. Right here, this could be something really good. Um, she has the eyelashes. Do you guys see the eyelashes? I don't know if this is a clone or if it's a Barbie. It's a squishy face. I don't, is it squishy face Steffi or something? Um, it does say Mattel. So this could be what the person wanted because her makeup looks really good. She doesn't have any green ear. I don't know if this is the body that goes with this or not. I'm gonna reach out to a couple of my Barbie friends um, and see what I can find out on this one. Uh, this one is, I don't know. Mattel, I think she's from the 90s, so I'll have to look her up. What's this say? The Wizard of Oz. I don't think this is original to her. So yeah, we got. there's a lot going on with this one. I don't think that's her original outfit. Here's another really bad shape. Um, Monster High doll. I may do a lot, a bundle, and just a collector or somebody who like knows what to do with these may buy these and just fix them up. They'll put body parts that, you know, from different things on different things and like they know that. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do all that. And I don't know if I have time to part it out like I would like to because it's just so much. Whoa, look at this guy. Whoa, whoa, his hair's flocked here. This is Mattel 2010. He's missing a hand, his pants fell down. He's kind of a hot mess, but he has ears. Some kind of vampire. This one, I don't know. Is this my, no, not my scene. Uh, I'm looking for some markings. This is made by Mattel 2012. So I will have to use Google Lens to figure out who she is. I mean, she's not a Barbie. This is a, I forget what they're called. I think they have wigs that go with them. I have sold these before. This is uh, Spin Master 2009 is what it says. And see, I think the wig fits in the top of the head. Here's another vintage Barbie. She's also a squishy face. Uh, not sure. So I'm gonna have to do some research on those. This guy with a lizard head. Whoa, is that a lizard? He's got his shoes and his outfit. He's not in too bad a shape. So I can look him up. Here's another one. Now, this is a vintage doll, but you can see how her, her face looks discolored. I don't think that's how she's supposed to be. So, sometimes these vintage clothes can be worth money too, but that one's pretty tattered. Whoa. Whoa, she's like, she, her, her body parts are very, very uh, flopsy, Lucy, flopsy, Lucy. Her leg is peeling. She must have been some sort of dancer. I mean, look at her moving. 
There's her face. Let me see what it says on the back of her head. Uh, Unita, Unita Doll Company, made in Hong Kong. So that's her face. But look at her body. That's weird, right? What's her belly button do? What on earth is even going on with that? A pair of pants, shorts. This guy's got flocked hair, but he's a mess. Um, who's he from? I feel like I should know that. He's got some writing on his hiney. Let's see what it says here. It says Mattel, 1963 maybe, but I don't know if that's a patent date or what that is. So definitely look that one up. Here's another vintage one. Um, does she have eyelashes? She does, she has some eyelashes going on. And I, are those like rosy cheeks? Huh, and she's a squishy face. I remember hearing something about squishy face. I don't know, but definitely gonna look her up. Here's another one. And a lot of times these dolls will get sticky. I don't know the answer to that, but this is like a vintage skipper. Definitely not in the greatest condition. That might be an original outfit. So I can take that off and see if it's tagged. So here we go. Uh, this says Francie, 1965 Mattel. So I could sell this little outfit separately if I wanted to. I don't know. I'm just gonna look at this dress over here, but we'll do that another time. All right, let's keep going here. Here we have this girl. And her hair is just yucky. Another, just, it's like somebody's dog got a hold of them and just chewed them all up. They're a mess, right? Like who would buy this? That's probably what you're thinking. The people that collect things like this. Look at that. Huh. I have no idea. He's like hollow. He's almost like a blow mold. Definitely look that up. Now, you're looking at this like, what on earth, right? Well, I can pop that head off and sell that head separately. The makeup looks good. She's got some of her, I think she's got, her eyelashes look pretty good. Her makeup looks good. I don't know if she's supposed to have a bob or if she's had a haircut, but um, I have sold just heads before. So yes, it is got issues, but it may still sell. This is, is a uh, skipper, but she's had a haircut. But um, people can take these and reroute them from what I understand. I don't know, let's see if this is an original Barbie outfit. Even if it's damaged, somebody can fix it up. I don't see a, I don't see a tag in there. All right. She started showing some of these clothes towards the end and there's still more. I think there's, I don't know if these are all clothes or not, but look how pretty this is. Um, there's no tag that I'm seeing. I'd have to figure out what size doll this fits, but I don't know if that's handmade or what, but look how pretty it is. I think it's handmade so that'll be interesting to try to figure out let me um, let me flip the camera here all right so let's look at this again so it's some sort of fancy I think it's probably handmade the problem is is I don't know what size doll it goes on I don't know if it's an 18 inch doll or, or what. This has like a little, it says 2950 Gabriel. 
don't know what that means. Oh, maybe that wasn't even attached to it. I don't know. I don't think that goes to it. So we are going to look through these little clothes. Some of these may go to the dolls that were there and some of them may not. So we've got some trousers. Whoops. Here is another, I think these might be handmade. They sure appear to be. I need to find an 18 inch doll. This is definitely the, it's got the same lining in it as that other one. So I'll have to see if they fit an 18 inch doll and then I can just put 18 inch doll, doll clothing if that's what it is. Yeah, these are like really interesting. Hmm. This one looks like it's got some staining maybe on it. But look how beautiful it is if it wasn't stained. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Somebody may be able to soak that. It will not be me. Same thing with this one. It's got issues. But they're really cute. They just need, they need some love. Oh. You ought to heard everybody when this was being shown. Oh my gosh, we were all cracking up. I could not believe it when it went to $151. I'm guessing it's those Barbies, the person that was bidding against Noelle wanted. And Noelle was just like, I'm getting it. She wanted it. She wanted to send it to me. So um, we will uh, we'll see if we can make some money on it. Do I think, I mean, that other person bidding was willing to go up to 150. So Noelle only beat her by like, what, a buck or something? Here's another dress. And then the person went out. And I remember in the chat, somebody was like, yeah, there's some, some good things in there. So even though, you know, there's some damaged stuff, I think all of these things came in one bundle that I don't know if she got them out of a storage unit or what. But sometimes you can find treasure mixed in with things that are damaged to like those Barbies. So you can't just dismiss things because some of the items are damaged. There's a little pair of pants. A lot of these look um, handmade. This could be potentially, there's no tag. It looks like um, there was a tag and maybe it came out. Anyone recognize that? Is that Barbie or Francie or... Um, this is too big for Barbie, but this, again, it's pretty damaged, but could be an original Barbie outfit. This one here, oh, I'm trying to read the tag. It says something. but it's, it's so frayed, I can't read it. Anybody know what that goes to? Little dress. Okay, now I did recognize this when I saw it. This is from, um, I think Skipper, and it's her swimsuit. I don't know if the label's still in here or not. It doesn't look like that it is, but I'm almost 90% sure that's authentic uh, vintage Barbie Skipper, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I can look that one up really easy. This is also vintage Barbie, I believe. But again, there's not a tag on the inside. I don't know what this goes to, but it's super cute. Look at this little outfit. Anybody know? So cute. Mmm. -hmm. Those are just stained little pants. This, not sure, might fit a Barbie, baby vintage Barbie, not sure. <laughs> that looks like a handmade mess. Uh, well, it looks like it might have had a tag. It had a tag. I 
have no idea. It's probably something special and I'm like, what a mess. Anybody know? Too big for a Barbie. Um, this little shirt, no tag, don't know what that goes to. What is this? Oh my goodness. Huh. I feel like this goes to something. Anybody know what that goes to? I might be able to Google lens it. Huh. It's too big. It's not Ken. It's bigger than Ken. I got it. Google lens might pick that up. Uh, this says Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hmm. This is interesting. Something made. Hong Kong. Wow, this looks really old. Looks like it might go on a Barbie. But it's, it's Hong Kong is like printed into it. These look like Barbie pants, but I don't, they're definitely vintage because they've got the vintage snap on the back. And somebody that does Barbie stuff is like, I know what that is. I know what that is. And I'm like, I don't know what it is. Look at this. This says Grand 889 on the button. Look at that. That goes to something too. All right, you guys, that is the lot. Time to figure all of this out. Ah! All right. All right, Bolo Buddy. So this box shocked me. I was like, what a mess. What am I going to do with it? And look at this. I have already sold $53 plus shipping on two items. And I have 22 items pending. If they sell for my asking price, that's an additional $538.20, but I do accept best offers. And I have that whole pile of clothing that I still have to figure out how to sell. So an amazing box, $150 into probably, we're going to say for sure over $500. So definitely a home run. Thank you again so much, Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. Definitely go sub her up. And Donatella Bottolino is on YouTube and she is also now on Whatnot. So look for links to all these channels in the description of the video. Thanks so much for being here and thank you for watching.